Hello learners and welcome to a video tutorial about your first formal lab. So in this lab you guys are going to be using uh, two things. You're going to be using the photo gate and you're also going to be using the iPads. Now the iPads, what we are going to do with those is we are going to uh, plot or really track our cart and it's going to give us a very nice distance first time and velocity versus time graph. So from those you are to sketch what you see and then go from there. And that's pretty much all we're going to do with the iPads. It's just going to give us a visual of what our cart is doing. Now with the photo gate, what we're going to do is use it to measure our velocity, actually get a value on that velocity. And again, your photo gates measure the time blocked and so if you know the distance that that thing was blocked you can get a velocity and so that will give us a pretty good ap approximation of our instantaneous velocity d over t equals v now our distance is going to be whatever width your or excuse me your diameter of your metal flag so here's going to be your setup you'll have your ramp and you'll have your photo gate set up on the 60 centimeter mark and then you, I've given you five different things that you can stack on top of each other to increase this height here. Okay? Now, what you also need to do, or keep in mind rather, is that as you increase this height, you're also changing that angle. You're making this slope steeper. And so what you're going to do is measure this height h and you're going to record that data h is going to be what you are changing so we can make that our independent variable then because we change height the velocity changes so if height was zero in other words if the ramp was flat and we let the cart go then our velocity would also be zero so our first point is going to be zero zero as I increase that height, though, my velocity is going to change. So what you are to do is to measure from the lab bench up to uh, either the bottom of the ramp or the top of the ramp. It doesn't really matter because what we're looking for here is a proportionality. So you record your data. You are then to make a plot of V versus H and see what kind of shape you get. Your goal or your objective is to get a linear relationship. Now, let's say you plot V versus H and you get, I don't know, something, something like that. Well, then you have to change up what you're plotting. Maybe plot V versus H squared. Or maybe plot the square root of v versus h. Okay, Change what value you're plotting, maybe v squared versus h. Change what value you're plotting until you get a straight line. That's your objective for the next lab, to come up with a linear relationship between velocity and height. Now, very important, you always want to release the cart from the same position and you always want to release it from rest. So your initial velocity should always be zero. Uh, 